इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वॉट इज द लीस्ट परफेक्ट स्क्वायर नंबर विच इज डिविजिबल बाय ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी सिक्स एंड सिक्सटी सिक्स सो ह्यर वी नीड टू फाइंड द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर फोर इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर बिकॉज आई कैन राइट इट एज टू इंटू टू दैट इज टू स्क्वायर नाइन इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर बिकॉज आई कैन राइट इट एज थ्री इंटू थ्री दैट इज थ्री स्क्वायर ट्वेंटी फाइव इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर विच आई कैन राइट एज फाइव इंटू फाइव दैट इज फाइव स्क्वायर सो परफेक्ट स्क्वायर कैन बी रिटर्न एज स्क्वायर ऑफ एनी नंबर सो दिस इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इट हैज टू बी अ लीस्ट परफेक्ट स्क्वायर right so and that least perfect square should be divisible by 21 36 and 66 so if i find and i have told you last class that let's take two number yesterday like 4 and 6 what is the lcm it's 12 right so any number which is divisible by 12 will be divisible by 4 and 6 so i can if i make double 12 into 12 144 then 144 will be surely divisible by 4 and 6 because 144 is divisible by 12 so if i take any multiple of 12 it will surely be divisible by 4 and 6 so same logic will apply here what is the least perfect square number so first i will find the least number which is divisible by these three numbers and then i will make it a perfect square are you getting it first i will find the lcm of these three numbers and then i will make it a perfect square so 21 36 and 66 let's make a find the lcm for this 18 and 33 then 3 this is a Twenty one, no seven. Then six threes are eighteen and eleven. This I can further write it as seven two eleven. This I can write it as seven one eleven. This I can do one one eleven and eleven eleven one one one. Done. My work done. Now the LCM will become what? Two. How many twos are there? Two twos. So let me write it together. Three three, right? And seven into eleven. Now this is the least common multiple which will be divisible by twenty one thirty six sixty six. So I told you the square number should have a in the index power should be square. Okay, the index power should be square. So two is already in the square form. Three is in the square form. Is seven in the square form? No. So if I write it as seven square, this will become a square number, and eleven square. This will also become a square number. So this new number, this is the original LCM. Now LCM, if I am multiplying by any number, I told you here. Look here, everybody. LCM. This is the LCM for four and six. Now if I am multiplying twelve with any number, say two. Three, four, whichever number, whatever answer I will get, that will be a divisible by four and six also. So same way, this is the LCM of twenty one thirty six sixty six. Now if I am multiplying this with further seven, and this with further eleven, what I am doing? I am making it a square number eleven 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 ka square, seven 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 ka square. So this new number, what you got after multiplying with seven? and multiplying by 11 is a square number so this is a perfect square which will be divisible by 21 36 66